found out who makes cameos. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Playtime. In Gravitational, the player will control Sebastian, a leading yeah. research and development scientist. He needs a wheelchair to move around. In this futuristic universe, where technologies are advancing, the big news in the area is gravitational control. Within this universe, Gravicorp is a company focused on developing technological innovations, and this is where our game takes place. Sebastian will find himself in a situation that only he can manage, but in a low accessibility environment. He will have to overcome barriers, fears, and deal with his past traumas. Now, let's talk about the game mechanics. During gameplay, the player will move through a futuristic wheelchair. As you can see, the player has to use his arms to move the wheels, or use the controller simulating a motorized chair. Wow. It was in the movement that we managed to better explore the idea of inclusion, since we believe in games not only as a source of fun, but also as a tool for awareness and inclusion. Whoa, the okay, player that's will deep. also use the interaction devices created by Sebastian himself. That will fuck. help him carry heavier objects. For example, construction cubes, a Gravicorp product used in construction. In the game, they serve as tools to solve puzzles and facilitate access to places. That's brilliant. Which would normally be unreachable for him. That is incredibly Finally, brilliant. Finally, we will have gravitational fields, Gravicorp's biggest investment. In theory, it shouldn't be used by humans yet. But Sebastian sees them as the only option to face challenges like reaching places that are not accessible to him. We can say for sure that Gravitational opened our eyes and put us in a new perspective, as well as transforming development into a valuable experience Holy that shit. we cherish with great affection. To know wow. more about our project, follow us on Facebook at Gravitational Gaming. We hope you like the result. Okay, I mean the the trailer here maybe not the best one but the ideas and the concept behind this one is this is brilliant i i think i found my favorite now just look at this i mean it's a vr game it uh, it has like you need to solve puzzles to get to your goal the concept of like a hero in a wheelchair who is actually stuck there and doesn't transform into any kind of superhero is incredible fascinating the concept is new it's original content and they even work for a higher purpose because they want people to be aware of inclusion yep it's brazilian i recognize the accent okay let's see it gravitational so virtual reality game with puzzle that allows or reproduces skin of sebastian scientist capable of developing gravitational solution but he's not turning into some kind of monster or superhuman the player sees an unexpected situation when sebastian is notified about a company and the company he works uh, with and who has knowledge to solve the problem. His journey either passes through several rooms, gravitational fields, or faces several barriers, even in a wheelchair. The project is under development, but has already won two major awards. Of course, because this is a masterpiece. This is fucking brilliant. The Wet Itamarate Impact Games Award and a celebration program during games of uh, change Latin America sounds like Brazil to me. A movement that helps and promotes games geared towards social development. This is definitely the best thing I have seen until today. Like from all the games we have seen today, this is definitely the most epic one. It didn't say didn't say like actually where the studio is from so let me uh, click on this and then we will end up actually on the steam it's studica solutions publishers electric monkeys release date plan is 2021 yeah this is definitely going to end up on my wish list this is amazing please log in ah, okay I'm going to do it on my other steam account fine I opened the Facebook page and is it Brazilian? It's definitely Latin American. This one is definitely something you need to like to keep an eye on. This is this is crazy good. No. It's from Sao Paulo. Okay. Yeah, that that's crazy good this one here. Wow. 
Never expected something like this. I mean it's an indie game, it's a VR game obviously, it's a puzzle solving, but I mean the main character in the wheelchair is already, how to say, very original. Then the story around it, I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure will be like Inception, my discovery what's ever going on and the concept. Just like it a lot.